Hello again my friends, have I got a treat packed video for you. Secret rooms that tease exotic weapons, easter eggs, glitches, collectibles, exotic quests and catalysts. There's a little something for everyone. And if you're enjoying the view, well I'm going to also reveal how you too can gaze over this beautiful vista. I mean sometimes you just need to sit back and relax after a hard day's loot grinding. And sometimes you just need to spy on Zavala. Yes, that tiny figure in the distance is the nasally blue vanguard. We must destroy this machine. Good. Okay, enough yapping, let's get into this. Right then, first up, a secret tower room that's currently locked off to players. As you can see, it's full of weapons and looky what we have here, the exotic bow leviathan's breath. The question is, what's it doing in the tower? Well, I'm going to show you how to glitch in here so that you can get a closer look for yourself. Now then, in order to glitch into this room, I'm going to need to activate the tower's high jump easter egg. Veteran players will know exactly what I'm talking about, but to all you newcomers, there's a tower minigame that once activated helps you jump really high and well, get into all sorts of mischievous glitch action. You basically need to reach the glowing lights without touching the floor and once you do this you'll be imbued with the power to jump a really high. Now if you follow the route I'm showing you here you'll be able to reach a vent in the side of the tower wall. It leads into a room with all the weapons. Now you won't actually be able to enter the vent from outside. That may change in the future but for now you can't get in this way. Instead you'll need to use the glitch I'm about to show you. I just thought it'd be useful to let you see the vent's location beforehand. Right then it's a glitch time baby. Right then, once you've activated the high jump easter egg, you'll need to hop on the metal box thing above the Eververse door. Now your objective here is to climb over the rails on the roof and glitch into the inside from above, kind of like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. Now then, once you're inside, things get a little bit weird because the vents below you are going to start blowing you around. You're going to need to use your ninja-like dexterity and control your guardian over the concrete pillars. It's going to take a little time and practice, but it's nothing a good glitch enthusiast can't handle, I believe in you. Right then, once you reach the third concrete pillar, you're going to need to follow this route. This is a little bit of a tricky jump, but again, practice makes perfect. Once you make it up here, follow these pipes around and then walk on the top of the vent here. And your goal here is to just run across, grab onto that little ledge, turn around, and you want to enter that room below. It's a little bit tricky to do that because as you can see, I accidentally missed. And if you fall down here, it's okay because you can jump back up again. And once you do it correctly, you'll go through the door here. You now need to walk forward until the courtyard loads in. Once this happens, you're free to explore. Now, if you want to know the direct route to the weapons room, well, follow this path. And here we are inside the weapons room. So then, what's the Leviathan's bow doing stashed away in the tower? No doubt we'll find out the answer to that question when the Leviathan's bow exotic quest goes live on the 22nd of October. In the meantime, let's have a closer look at this weapon. Now this bow is the first exotic bow that sits in your heavy slot and that's because this thing packs a serious wallop. Just check out the perks. First up, we have Big Game Hunter. Fires a massive heavy bolt that staggers unshielded enemy combatants, strong against unstoppable champions. We've also got Chain Bowstring, fiberglass arrow shaft and leviathan sigh. When fully drawn, the bolt creates a large concussive blast that knocks enemies back. I cannot wait to use this thing. Okay, so there's just one more thing I wanted to show you. Remember when I said you couldn't enter this room from the vent outside? Well, I'm going to show you how to exit this room via that very same vent. And here it is. You simply fall down and hey presto, you get a gorgeous view of the city below. And yes, if you really want to, you can spy on Zavala. Now then, in order to get that epic creep shot of the big blue nasally one, you'll need to jump up on this ledge that's just above the vent exit. And if you wondered what this looks like from Zavala's point of view, check this out. Okay, so you see that guardian on the vent in the distance? Well, that's where we just were. Sorry, Zavala, but he's definitely checking out your fine blue ass. A filthy. Now, credit for this awesome glitch goes to Reddit user in Vertex. I've left links to his original Reddit posts in the description box below. Next up, we're going to look at a cheeky little Lost Sector Easter egg that rewards a cool emblem. You'll need to travel to the K1 Logistics Lost 
sector on the moon. Now then, when you reach the end of the lost sector, you'll see this room. Usually there's a servitor and lots of minions in them. I've taken them out so that we can concentrate on this. Now follow this route and on the top of this little hut here, you will see the thing that you need to inspect. Inspect it and you get the emblem. Hooray, let's have a look at it in more detail. And well, here it is. It's called the Orbital Cartographer Emblem and I gotta say, I very much like the look of it. It's a little cutie. Next up, we have rune chests. You'll come across these all over the moon. Now, in order to open them, you'll need to solve a very simple puzzle. Now, the front of the chest has three different runes. Think of this as a rune code. Now, in close proximity to this chest, you'll find those same three runes. You'll need to locate them and shoot them in the order that they appear on the chest. And once you've done this, you will then be able to open the chest and partake in the sweet precious loot within. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Next up, let's talk about rice cake consumables. Yes, they now exist in Destiny. I got one from picking up healing filaments and my friend got one from completing a public event. So yeah, expect them to drop randomly every now and again. But the thing is, you know, what do they do? Well, scattered around the moon, you'll find these weird little jade rabbit statue collectibles. Now, if you offer these things a rice cake consumable, you'll get a heap of phantasmal fragments and they also get added to a kind of jade rabbit trophy room near Eris Morn, which is, it's a bit weird, but you know, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So yeah, opposite Eris Morn is a jade rabbit trophy room. Every time you feed one of these things a rice cake, it appears in this room. If you're a collector, I've left a link to all the currently known Jade Rabbit locations in the description box below. Happy hunting! Next up, it's time to answer the question, what do you get if you hit the perfect score on the Moon Tire minigame? Well, to achieve the high score, you need to get all three tires into the smallest center crater. If you do this, you unlock the No Pressure Triumph. Now, this triumph isn't worth any score, but hey, it's a little pat on the back for a job well done. Now, the YouTuber you see here completing this is Lucky10P. I've linked his video in the description box below. Go watch it to listen to his awesome reaction. Next up, we have another mysterious easter egg. People are calling it the Purple Ball Easter Egg. Now, you may have noticed lots of terminals scattered around Eris Morn. Well, if you see one with an orange screen, go activate it. This will then cause another random nearby terminal to turn orange. And yes, you guessed it, you'll need to locate this new terminal and activate it too. Do this five times in total to progress this easter egg. Once you activate the fifth terminal, a bridge will appear. Well, it's not exactly a bridge, it's more like a few floating platforms. Anyway, these platforms lead to something rather odd, a keypad that you can offer 5,000 glimmer to. Now, if you actually make this offering, a purple ball appears on the moon. And yeah, that's why people are calling this the purple ball easter egg. Now, some people believe that this is simply a nostalgic nod to the purple ball easter egg in the tower. Others believe there's something more to this because after a while, the ball will disappear and a message appears on screen that reads the offering ceased to appease. So yeah, maybe we need to find this ball a home. The question is, where the F does it go? Next up, let's Let's talk about loot. Bungie's giving away a free powerful engram. Yes, you heard me right, it's free. If you have a Bungie.net account, go to your rewards page and then click this to have your reward emailed to you. I've linked Bungie's reward page in the description box below. So yeah, once you claim your reward, go check your email. You should see this. Click here to redeem your reward. You'll then be taken to this page which has a huge purple engram on it. It tells you to go check your postmaster. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's go. Okay then, so here I am in the tower. Bungie Bungie, you better not be lying to me. Where's my effing loot? Let's have a little look. Where is it? You yes, there it is. Special orders. We've got a rewards package, a rune covered package containing a powerful reward. Okay, thank you, Bungie, for my free loot. Let me open this and see what I get. Boom, we got leg armor. So let me just pop that on. As you can see, I'm 904. And um, what did, did this drop at? This dropped at 904. So it didn't quite boost me up, but it gave me a little bit of a push. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's move the F on. Thank you very much, Bungie. Now, while we're on the subject of loot, let's look at my Shadow Keep exotic loot tool so far. Now, I got the new exotic Hunter Helmet Assassin's Cow from Ikora after completing the campaign. And as you can see, the perk for this helmet is Vanishing Execution. Defeating a Guardian with a melee attack or a combatant with a finisher grants invisibility and restores a portion of health and shields. So yeah, let's go and try that out. Okay, then it's time to test out my exotic. So which of you fools is going to get it first? Let's just weak in this and let's just test this out. Finishing move, a booyaxi to the shaxi. Boom, that's right. I'm John Cena, fool. You can't see me. Okay, let me just get this fool down as well. Let's see if it just works straight away in a row. Boom, I just hit the wall and I turned invisible. Marvellous. Let's take this fool down. He just got taken out straight away. So there you go. It actually works. It's actually quite fun to use. Let me just weaken this fool. I haven't actually done a finisher on a servitor yet. So let me just do that. Let me weaken him. Let me get him down and let's perform a finisher. Can you 
for full finishes on servitors? You can, let's do it. A boom, a blaps, there we go. And I'm invisible and these Egypts can't see me either. Marvellous. So it works, it works a treat. I kind of like it. Now let's try some other exotic, shall we? Why not? Yes, let's do that. Okay, so peep this, I actually have Deathbringer. Yeah, I completed the quest and I've got it. So let's just test this thing out. Boom. It's a pretty looking exotic actually and it just separates into loads of void orbs that destroy and detonate in heat seek. So let's just do another one of those. Boom! And you can actually release the trigger and it actually releases the void orbs. And it's kind of like a fireworks display, goddammit. Let me do one right in the air. Booyaxi to the Shaxi, release, and let's see these pepper down on the falls below. Will it, will it actually get to them? Let's see. It actually it actually didn't. Wow, so if you do it too high in the air, it doesn't reach the ground. So let me get these falls instead. Boom. You kind of got to time it correctly as well. So there you go. It's quite a nice um, a rocket launcher, actually. It, its reload is really quick as well. But let me just try it, that again. Let me, like, pour it down. Rain purple death down on this uh, walker. And there you go. It kind of doesn't seem to do that much damage. But um, we'll have to use this more to see. But yeah, there we go. That's Deathbringer. I got it from an exotic quest. Um, let me just use my super, actually. Why the hell not? I'm here. I might as well help out my fellow guardians. Do you know what I mean? Eat this. Eat lead. Oh, God, I just want to play now. But yeah, there you go. That's Deathbringer. That was a little bit of a usage of it. Let's move the F on. Now, I've also completed Banshee's exotic quest, so let's see what I got for that. Now, I've got to say, the exotic quest line for this was actually really fun because you get to revisit old Russia from Destiny 1. So, yeah, it was very nostalgic. And in the end, you get Risk Runner. So, not a bad loot drop as well, especially for all you newcomers out there. Okay, then, spoiler alert. I'm about to show the end cutscene. If you haven't seen it, get the F away from it. If you have already completed the game, let's talk about this really weird end cutscene. What in the name of F is going on? So you've got your guardian and he's standing in the black garden, which is where the new raid is going to take place. So fair play. That's what I was thinking. Okay, that's the next thing we're going to see the raid, the black garden. It all makes sense. And then suddenly from behind you, you see yourself. Bungie, what in the name of mother loving F is going on? Why am I talking to myself in game? It's really weird. Now, I talked to my mate Bife, who is a lore master, and he told me that, you know, this is the darkness that has taken the form of you, so that it kind of messes with your head. Who knows what the F is going on? Anyway, can I just apologise for the way my guardian looks? I made him all the way back in Destiny 1. That is like a four-year-old guardian. But anyway, yeah. Any idea what's going on in this scene? I have no idea. It's very confusing. Bungie, please, let me know what the hell is going on. So yeah, guys, I think that'll do it for this video. How how are you getting on with Shadowkeep? I'm having an absolute blast, but my god, is there a lot to do in this game? There's so much to discover. I feel as if I've only scratched the surface. I've completed the campaign, but after you complete the campaign, then there's the end game. And of course, we've got a whole heap of content to come in October, so there's so much more to go. As you can see, I'm 904 power. Let me know your highest power in the comments section below. Have you managed to break the 900 soft cap? If so, let me know. How are you enjoying it? Are you having a blast? Are you like, oh my god, it's the same old reskin stuff. I want to know how you feel about this. If you want to watch more content from me, click the on-screen image and, you know, feel free to subscribe because I'll be making so much more content from here on in. Thank you so much if you've just joined this channel. I think we've gained like 5,000 subscribers in the past like five days, so that's incredible. All to all you newcomers, thank you so much for joining me. To all you veterans, thank you so much for sticking with me. And yeah, guys, we will speak again very soon.